Hello there everybody, welcome back to Try New Things. Hopefully you've seen in a previous episode, out at the greenhouse I built a planting station or a planting table uh, using a couple expanded metal grates that I picked up on Marketplace and then a few new uh, pressure treated lumber and then some used pressure treated lumber that I use for bracing and building the greenhouse. So I got about $100 into that work table uh, and it turned out quite well. I'm quite happy with it. But today we're going to focus on the other side of the greenhouse on the inside and build a different type of planting station using 55 gallon drums that I picked up for uh, I think $20 a piece. So I got a couple in my greenhouse for heat sinks. Not sure how that's going to turn out long run, but I did pick up four. So I've got two more, uh, two behind me here. And my plan is to cut those up and make them into more permanent planters within the greenhouse. So here are those drums and I've rinsed them out. Uh, I think they were used for, for food actually. There was a little bit left in one. It may even been uh, bourbon mash by the looks and smell of it. But anyway, all cleaned out now. My challenge is, and I've seen a number of videos on YouTube making planters out of these drums, but for the most part, they're the solid one piece. You cut it in half and away you go. My challenge is the ones I got have these removable tops that came with a uh, steel clamp to hold them in place. Nice gasket all the way around them. They're great barrels, but I got to figure out how to keep uh, the ends on once I build my, uh, my workstation. Now, as is the case for most of the projects I do, uh, I don't really have a plan. So I kind of just make it up as I go along and this is going to be absolutely no different. So I'll figure out how to hold the ends on when I get to that point. But the first thing I need to do is cut these barrels in half. Now I'm quite fortunate in the fact that on the underside of the barrel, there's a nice seam which bisects that barrel in half perfectly. So finding the center is going to be easy. I've got to drop a line down both sides and then go ahead and make the cut. I was about to go crazy with some string and a plumb bob, figure a way to draw a perfectly straight line down from that uh, seam on the top. And I don't know if it's going to come through on the camera, but right here, there's a seam that extends down all the way down the barrel on both sides. Might show up better on this one. So what I did is I took our friend the, uh, the Sharpie marker and I traced that convenient seam up both sides and across the top. So now I'm going to pin these barrels up against something and uh, cut them wide open. I also got to transfer those lines onto the top so I can cut that later. I'm only going to have room for about 10 feet of barrel and each barrel is exactly three feet high. So I can use three halves, which means I can screw up one half of a barrel. But I think if I screw up a half a barrel, I'm going to end up screwing up a whole barrel. So let's, uh, let's try to avoid any screw up inch. Now the first thing we're going to try is the circular saw. If this doesn't work, I guess we'll go do a jigsaw, but hopefully this works out well. Let's give it a shot. Plug your ears. That was like butter until the end. I think we're going to continue with the skill saw. That was way easier. 
Not a big fan of all the blue sawdust though. So now we got both sides done, just going to run across the top. So there we have it, two barrel halves. Let's lay it out on the floor, see how she looks. So there's the two barrel halves, and uh, it turned out quite well. I think I'm gonna have to address the edges and get the burrs, the little plastic burrs off it. But we'll figure that out in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up this other barrel and the two tops and check back in with you. All right, so we got two sets of barrel halves. There's one. There's two, haven't screwed any halves up yet. And then we got four halves of the, uh, the other end. Still haven't figured out how to keep those on yet, but we will. And a blue mess to clean up, yikes. I think I may have just figured out how I'm gonna keep the tops on. So if you look at the cross section here of the top, there's the gasket inside, oops. There's the gasket but there's this flap on the inside that overlaps the barrel all the way around and I think I may be able to uh, just rivet that on I think that's what I might do so real quick here is an upside down mock-up nothing's bolted nothing's screwed those are two two by tens and I think I'm gonna have about just right to run a two by four between each barrel half for additional support and that'll also help keep that white top on. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Go ahead and build the top frame first and then we'll figure out how to uh, mount the barrels in there. Got to run home get my riveter though so I can put those tops on. Now before we do anything riveting uh, we got to get rid of some some plastic burrage here along the edges of the barrel and for that I'm just going to use a uh, a used flapper disc on a grinder and hopefully that'll take those off quite easy so if you end up trying this at home flapper disc on a grinder right tool for the job to get rid of those burrs all right, so the frame is coming along pretty good, but I'm out of screws. I'm out of screws again. And I haven't run home to get that rivet gun yet. So those barrels are just laying in there for spacers. So I better hurry up, run home and get those before the next clip. I am back from the local little hardware store and I've got some rivets and some screws and a couple more sticks, hopefully enough to uh, finish this build. But on my drive, I was thinking, this thing's going to weigh a small ton when it gets full of damp potting soil. So I'm going to have to come up with a way to brace it from the bottom as well as the sides. I don't think uh, just some screws into the sides at the top are going to hold it. So uh, I've got to sit back and think about that a little bit more and wonder what Dad would do. This is what we came up with for a final design so far. Now to address the uh, weight of the barrels, I ran these two 2x4s and they're angled perpendicular to the barrel and run the length to carry the load. Hopefully that'll do the trick. And at the end of the day, is this thing over engineered? Uh, absolutely. I would have been further ahead at this point uh, carving it out of a, a single log from a tree I think and will I be able to carry it myself out to the greenhouse after I flip it over absolutely not and I haven't even done the bottom shelving yet but it's time to flip this over and uh, start riveting but before we do that I've got to think about drain holes 
So I opted for a 5 8 inch drain hole in each one of the barrel halves. Uh, on the end of this one, on the end of this one, the opposite end of the far one. So right there is we're going to have to remember not to put anything on the shelf that we don't want to get wet. Wow. Wow. I just flipped this thing over. Again, still haven't done the riveting yet. But man, am I impressed with how this thing looks. We're going to be able to grow, if I can ever carry this out to the greenhouse, a ton of vegetables in this thing. And yeah, just look at that. Didn't that turn out nice so far? Got to put a shelf on the bottom there after we carry it out. But yeah, just thought I'd give you a quick update before uh, I pull those barrels out. Looks like rivets are the answer. So here's the rivet plan. About every three inches all the way around. When I get that all done, at least on one barrel, I'll uh, let you take a look. So here's what those rivets look like on the inside of the barrel, holding that lid on. I think they turned out really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up the other two halves and then I'll check back in with you. With a little bit of stubborn persistence and a tractor, I managed to get it in here by myself. And uh, I've got the tubs all screwed in, nice and secure. And they're nice and flush with the top. I still got to come back and uh, build the shelf underneath, but once I get that done, I'll join you back here for the wrap up. The shelves are done! All done! Next thing we need to do, put a layer of drainage stone in the bottom, some fabric, start filling these with soil, and ready for planting. We're going to go ahead and call this project done. Using 55 gallon drums to build a planting station here in the greenhouse. Today we finished up the shelves on the bottom, put in some fabric and drainage stone at the bottom of each drum half, and then filled it up with uh, planting soil. So all ready to go come spring, we will have some plants growing in there for sure. Now I'll tell you what though, this bench was a lot of fun to build, but this one was particularly satisfying and I, I don't know why. Maybe because I had a few additional challenges to overcome in the process, but I had a tremendous amount of fun building this particular bench. But if you have any questions or comments about this bench or anything, leave them below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until the next video, bye-bye.